Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to create a thermometer chart like this that is going to track our progress towards a goal. So I have a goal amount here of $500,000. The current donations that we have are $200,000. And now we need to calculate what we still have to go. I'm not going to put a hard figure in here, I need a formula. So I'm going to type the equal sign and then I'm going to take the amount we're targeting less the amount that we've already got and just press enter. So any change to this value is going to kick this one into something different. Let me type in 220,000. You can see that the still to go changes. So I'm just going to mark this cell as being the one that is going to be changeable. This is the one where we're going to put new data into. Now to create our chart, if we total these two figures, I'm just going to put it back to 200,000 while we're doing some adding in our head. 200,000 and 300,000 is 500,000. So this is the only data we need for the chart. Don't be tempted to include this amount because otherwise the chart's going to be totally wrong. So we just want the current donations and how much we still have to go. We're going up here to the insert option, we're going across here to insert column or bar chart. Click it and we're going to take the second one, the stacked column chart, even though it looks absolutely nothing like what we're trying to do. So just ignore that part of it, just click on it. This is perfect. The problem with our chart is that we need to rearrange the data. So with the chart selected, you'll see that there are two new tabs here on the ribbon, chart design and format. We're currently seeing chart design. So we're going to click here on switch row column and that puts the chart pieces together into a stacked chart. If I click it, they separate, click it, they come together. We're actually switching the row and column data. This is what it should look like. I'm going to add a title to my chart. Now I don't want the x-axis down here, so I'm going to click on it and just press delete to remove it. I don't want the grid lines, so I'm going to click on them, right click and choose format grid lines. And here in the paint bucket option, which are the fill and line options, I'm going to open this up and I'm just going to click here on no line and that removes any highlighting or any formatting from those grid lines, cleans up the chart. Now here is a point where the order in which you do things is pretty important. If I start changing the size of the overall chart area, then the chart itself is going to change in size. So first of all, you want to make sure that your chart area is pretty much as big or as small as you want it to be before you start messing with the actual plot itself. So just a heads up, if you do it the other way around, it's going to be a little bit messy. Now there is an option for changing this plot area and for this we're going to firstly select the chart, then go to the format tab, then come over here to plot area. Just going to click on that and that highlights this area, which is different. It's called the plot area. Just going to shrink it a little bit because I want this to look a little bit more like a thermometer. I'm pretty happy with this space here because that will let me put my title in a minute. Let me just do target 2024 and let's move the title over here. I think that's probably ultimately where it's going to go. There is one thing here, I need to put a bulb on the end of my thermometer and I don't have a lot of room for it. So let's go back to the plot area and let's just drag up from the bottom to shrink this up a little bit. In a minute I'm going to get rid of the 600 so we can sort that out. So, so far everything looks pretty good. Let's click on this Y axis, let's right click and let's choose Format Axis. So here we want to go to these Axis Options and you want to open up the Axis Options Options. And here is the problem in terms of why we're saying 600,000 here. We don't need this to read 600,000 because we're only going to 500,000. That's what we're trying to raise. So let's make this 500,000. So I'm just going to drag over that, delete it and type in my 500,000. I'll tab away and you can see that the chart changes shape and so the top value is going to be our 500,000. Now I need to put a circle here. So I'm going to insert and shapes. I'm going down to my basic shapes. I want this oval shape. I'm going to click on it. I'll hold the shift key as I just drag out an oval. Now luckily the color seems to be a good match but it does have a border on it. So with this shape selected, I'm going up here to shape outline and I'm going to choose no outline. So that's removing the outline. But let's also just set the color that we're going to be using because we need these colors to be the same. So I'm going to shape fill and we're going to use this color here. So it's blue accent five, darker 25%. It's the one on the right hand side of the dialogue two from the bottom. So that's the one we're using there. 
Now, it's going to help us if we plan to have a background here to put in a background right now. So I'm just selecting on the chart. I'm going up to the Format tab and I'm going to fill the shape with a colour. Now, thinking probably I'm going to use black which is going to throw the text out so that's not a problem we're just going to come back over to the text here select it go to text fill and we'll make it white and ditto here we're just going to make our text fill white so we can see the text now the only thing we need to fix up now is the chart itself and what I want to do is to make this area white so I'm just clicking on it you can see that I can actually click on just this area I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose fill I'm just going to make this white. Now this I want to be gradient filled so I'm going to click on it, I'm going to right click and I'm going to come to the fill options and I'm going to choose gradient and I'm going to choose more gradients because that's going to open this format data series dialog. I could have got here as well by just right clicking this and choosing format data series because we want this fill and line and we want the fill area and here we want a gradient fill. Now the gradient fill you would be very very lucky if it worked perfectly. In fact it's not going to work perfectly so that's fine we're just going to fix it up. What we're going to do is firstly go and have a look at the type of gradient. Well this is a radial we want a linear because we want a line across here. The direction I want to choose one that has light at the top and dark at the bottom. So this is a good option linear down now I have some gradient stops here and which order these gradient stops are in is going to depend on what angle you have set so don't worry about it provided you've got light at the top and dark at the bottom whatever stops you've got here you're just going to work with what you've got you're going to take the lightest one first of all so we're just going to click on this one and then we can choose the color and we want the same white as up here so I'm just going to go and make that white and we don't want the one in the middle so we're just going to remove it then we want the one at the end, the darkest one, and we're going to fill that with the colour that we decided we were going to use, which is this blue accent 5 dark of 25%. Okay, now this is what our gradient looks like. It right now is from blue to white, but we want to get more blue than white, so we're just going to drag this. We're going to drag this all the way across until we get just a little bit of fuzziness between the blue and white in the chart. That's all we need to do. Close it down. Now ultimately if you want something that looks better than just a box around your chart let's see how we could do that. I'm going to right click this and I'm going to format chart area. I'm going to remove the fill. So I could do it the same way by just selecting on the chart going up here to format and shape fill and do no fill at all. Now we can't see anything in the chart but that's just fine. But we do have an outline. I want to get rid of that too. So I'm going to select over it. I'm going up here to format, shape outline. I'm going to remove that as well. So now the chart is pretty near invisible over our data. That's just fine. We're going to go up here to insert and shapes. And this time we're going to choose a rounded rectangle. So there's one here in the flow chart options. And there's one here in the rectangles. I'm just going to choose this one from rectangles. I'm going to drag out a rounded rectangle. At the moment it's on top of the chart and images and charts are stacked in layers in Excel and so they're above all the data on the worksheet but this is above the chart as well. So I'm going to right click it and I'm going to choose send to back and I'm going to choose send to back and that's going to send it behind everything. So now all I need to do is to worry about the colour of this shape. It has the chart over the top and so we can experiment with all sorts of colours here. We can even make our own colours. So I'm going to go here. We could use a hot red. We could use any of the colours that are available here. We can also go to more fill colours and you can get access to colours here or through this particular picker. So you could choose any colour that you like. Of course you might need to change your type. You might need to make it a different colour if it can't be easily seen over the colour that you've chosen. I just think this colour looks awful. So let's go back and get something is more like the black that we were using before but this time you can see that our chart actually has round edges around it. It's just because it has a rectangle behind it that is round edged. The only thing that we need to concern ourselves with now is that the chart and the shape are different. They, they're two separate objects. 
So we're going here to the home tab of the ribbon. We're going across here to find and select. You're going to click that and you're going to choose select objects. And now just make a big selection across both of these. And you should have two sets of handles. You're going to right click and you're going to choose group, group. So this groups the chart and its background together so that you can drag them around your worksheet to wherever it is that you want them to be. Let's check our chart. We've just had a major donation. So somebody just gave us $150,000. Let's type 350,000, which is the new level of our donations. When we select that, you can see that the still to go area of the chart has become much smaller. The amount that we already have is much bigger. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.